Sixth Day of Waiting on God by Andrew Murray. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Christopher Smith. Waiting on God for All Saints. Let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Psalm 25, verse 3. Let us now, in our meditation of today, each one forget himself to think of the great company of God, saints throughout the world, who are all with us waiting on Him. And let us all join in the fervent prayer for each other, Let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Just think for a moment of the multitude of waiting ones who need that prayer. How many there are, sick and weary and solitary, to whom it is as if their prayers are not answered, and who sometimes begin to fear that their hope will be put to shame. And then how many servants of God, ministers or missionaries, teachers or workers of various name, whose hopes in their work have been disappointed, and whose longing for power and blessing remains unsatisfied. And then, too, how many who have heard of a life of rest and perfect peace, of abiding light and fellowship, of strength and victory, and who cannot find the path. With all these, it is nothing but that they have not yet learned the secret of full waiting upon God. They just need what we all need, the living assurance that waiting on God can never be in vain. Let us remember all who are in danger of fainting or being weary, and all unite in the cry, Let none that wait on thee be ashamed. If this intercession for all who wait on God becomes part of our waiting on Him for ourselves, we shall help to bear each other's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. There will be introduced into our waiting on God that element of unselfishness and love which is the path to the highest blessing and the fullest communion with God. Love to the brethren and love to God are inseparably linked. In God the love to His Son and to us are one, that the love wherewith Thou hast loved me may be in them. In Christ the love of the Father to Him and His love to us are one. As the Father loved me, so have I loved you. In us He asks that His love to us shall be ours to the brethren. As I have loved you, that ye love one another. All the love of God and of Christ are inseparably linked with love to the brethren. And how can we, day by day, prove and cultivate this love otherwise than by daily praying for each other? Christ did not seek to enjoy the Father's love for Himself. He passed it all on to us. All true seeking of God and His love for ourselves will be inseparably linked with the thought and the love of our brethren in prayer for them. Let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Twice in the psalm David speaks of his waiting on God for himself. Here he thinks of all who wait on him. Let this page take the message to all God's tried and weary ones, that there are more praying for them than they know. Let it stir them and us in our waiting to make a point of at times forgetting ourselves and to enlarge our hearts and say to the Father, These all wait upon thee, and thou givest them their meat in due season. Let it inspire us all with new courage, for who is there who is not at times ready to faint and be weary? Let none that wait on thee be ashamed is a promise in a prayer. They that wait on thee shall not be ashamed. From many and many a witness the cry comes to everyone who needs the help, Brother, sister, tried one, wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, all ye that wait on the Lord. Blessed Father, we humbly beseech thee, let none that wait on thee be ashamed, no, not one. Some are weary, and the time of waiting appears long. And some are feeble, and scarcely know how to wait. 
and some are so entangled in the effort of their prayers and their work, they think that they can find no time to wait continually. Father, teach us all how to wait. Teach us to think of each other and to pray for each other. Teach us to think of Thee, the God of all waiting ones. Father, let none that wait on Thee be ashamed. For Jesus' sake. Amen. My soul, wait thou only upon God. End of sixth day.